Hudson Valley. This is Robbie from I Heart Hudson Valley, and I'm sitting here with Paul Kamayatek, one of my vendors on the new I Heart Hudson Valley market. We're gonna talk to him a little bit, see his space, and learn more about him. So I became an artist because my father's an artist, his father was an artist, his uncle was an artist, they did watercolor, my father is a watercolor painter, his father was oil paints and photography, um, and he tinted his own photographs back in the 40s and 50s before color. Um, so uh, I've never taken lessons beyond high school. It was all learning from my father. When I was young, I would draw pictures. I drew constantly and show them to my father. And unlike most parents who would just put them up on the refrigerator and say, this is wonderful, he would say, your perspective is off, or you need more contrast, or your eyes aren't level or something. So it was, um, it was, it was a great education. My father taught me just about everything I know. And now here I am. Doing art is almost a, a full-time thing. With your early beginnings with your father, how did you go from that into working um, as a draftsman? Um, he, he was an engineer. He was a civil engineer. Um, and he actually um, it kind of got me working summers at his office doing drafting, doing um, inking highway designs and stuff. And after a year of college, which was a disaster, I decided to go to drafting school because that seemed like a, a good path to go. Um, so I went to drafting school for a year, did drafting for uh, about 12 or 13 years in two or three different companies, uh, mostly machine parts and plumbing and that kind of thing. Um, then and you then, shifted careers somewhere? Then I again? shifted careers. I, I started inter not interning, volunteering at the Bronx Zoo in the reptile house while I was still drafting. And that I turned into a job. I got a job at the Queen Zoo for about seven years. That's where I met my wife, Megan, who was also a zookeeper at the Queen Zoo. Um, and then I worked my way back into the reptile house because that's where I really wanted to work at the Bronx Zoo and worked there for about seven years um, until my son was born and then I became an artist and a full-time dad. So, where exactly do you do most of your work? Do you have a table that you work at, a um, studio specifically? Uh, well, the thing I love about drawing, as opposed to painting, I used to watch my father paint when I was young, and it would take him, you know, a lot of prep work stretching canvases and doing all mixing paints uh, with drawing this is all I need this is my studio I can draw I drop the kids off at the library and I draw there I have my little drawing board that I got from my, uh, my wife's father I think this is probably a hundred years old this is what they used to use in uh, grammar school with the little T square <laughs> um, so this I draw in this um, I've got my pad I've got my pencils and pens everything I need is in here so if we're on vacation I can bring this with me and do some drawing there if we're at um, 
the kids' grandparents' house. I can sit out on the deck and draw there. So this, it's, I love the portability and the, uh, just the options that drawing gives you.